how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well one of the best things about owning a galaxy smartphone is the amount of features and customizations it offers with that being said in today's video i'll be showing you some lesser known one ui features that i'm sure not many of you know about so if you're a samsung owner then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started First, let me show you a really cool lock screen customization trick that allows you to have a different wallpaper every time you unlock your phone. Right now, I have this wallpaper and if I lock and unlock my phone, I get a brand new wallpaper. You know what the best part is? All these wallpapers are handpicked by me and they are not automatically generated by any Samsung service. Now, let me show you how you can easily set up multiple wallpapers on your lock screen. All you have to do is simply go to your gallery and select the album in which you have saved all your favorite wallpapers that you might have downloaded from Backdrops or any other wallpaper application. Now select all the wallpapers in this album, tap on the three dots menu, select set as wallpaper and then finally click on done. That's it. Now when you lock and unlock your phone, every time you will get a brand new wallpaper. I think it's a really cool feature and if you want, you can also create more albums with different set of wallpapers. You just need to follow the same process. Since we are in the lock screen, let me show you another cool customization feature. If I long press and go to customization, here when I tap on wallpaper, there is a separate category for plain and gradient wallpapers. If I go inside and choose any gradient wallpaper from this category, I get this brand new colors option at the bottom and when I click on it, I can change the color of my lock screen wallpaper. There is an option to adjust the transparency and when I go to style, I can choose different gradient styles for my wallpaper. This color option gets enabled only when you apply any plain or gradient wallpaper on your lock screen. You can further customize and add different elements as per your preference. Now there are times when you don't have enough space on your phone and you want to delete applications that you don't use very often. Usually what we do is select the applications one by one and uninstall them separately which can consume a lot of your time. Instead what you can do is you just need to open the My Files app, scroll all the way down and you'll see this option called manage storage. Tap on it and here you will find something called as unused applications. Just go inside and here you can see we have got a list of unused applications. Now you can select the apps that you want to uninstall and tap on this button. It will uninstall all the selected applications in the background. I think it's an amazing feature that is hidden right inside the My Files app. The next feature I want to show you is how you can broadcast the sound from your phone using the Aura Cast feature. All you have to do is go to your Bluetooth settings, make sure it is turned on and then tap on this three dot menu which is located at the top right. Here you can see we have got this option called broadcast sound using Aura Cast. Once you tap on this, you will get a pop up that says broadcast the sound from this phone so others can listen. Now what it actually does is you can play anything on this phone and start the broadcast so that the others can connect and start listening to whatever you are playing on this phone. Now if you just tap on start broadcast, it says you need to have at least one Bluetooth LE audio device connected to this phone. So you just need to make sure that you have connected to an audio device which supports this Aura Cast feature so that you can hear the broadcast. I think it's a useful feature that's been added in the latest One UI 6.1. This next tip is for anybody who uses the H panel on their Samsung phone. Did you know by default anyone can access your H panels directly from the lock screen even without unlocking your phone? You can see that I can easily pull out my H panels right from the lock screen and this can be super risky if you are using the clipboard or notification panel, anyone can have access to your personal information. Now in order to fix this, you need to disable one really important setting. Just go to display, scroll down and select H panel. Now go inside panels, click on this three dot menu, select this option called hide on lock screen. Here you can choose all the panels that you want to hide on the lock screen. Now when someone try to access that particular panel from the lock screen, it will ask to unlock your phone first. I think it's a really important setting which you need to change if you are using the H panels on your Samsung phone. Did you know on Samsung devices, you can even customize and rearrange your settings menu order. For example, if I go into settings and let's say I quickly want to check for the software update, I need to scroll all the way down and here finally I get the software update option at the bottom. Now if you want to rearrange and place this option at the top so I can easily access whenever I want to check for the software update 
I can do that with the help of a good lock module called register. I'll just open good lock and go inside register module. Here I get this option called customize your settings home. Simply tap on this and go inside menu order and group settings. Now you can just drag this option at the top like this. Then finally tap on save. Now if I open the settings page, you can see the software update option is right at the top. Similarly, you can rearrange all these settings as per your requirement. I'm sure no other Android phone allows you to customize and rearrange your settings menu. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some really useful hidden One UI features that every Samsung user needs to know about. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.